Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, we've got a big recruiting week, and the Vols have been on a roll, as you know. We've got uh, Kai Bates coming up and also a big-time five-star edge rusher that may be announcing pretty soon. Now, there's so much going on in recruiting right now, it's crazy. There really is. It's, uh, we've had a great run out of the last five recruits that we've had commit to us. Four were four stars, and one was a five-star, and that was Mike Matthews. So we've had a really nice run. Picked up Edwin Spillman uh, last week as well. That was really nice in-state get linebacker. And then, of course, we've got Amari Jefferson's going to announce on August 5th. But tomorrow we have Kai Bates, cornerback. He's out of Florida, and it's between – looks like it's between us and LSU. Alabama is kind of sticking their toe in there as well. Alabama! So we're going to cover uh, these two recruits. There's so much going on. Now, I missed yesterday. I had to work. I was on the road most of the day, so I couldn't do a show. And got home late, and I just, I, I just wasn't in the mood to do a show. Now, you listen to me. You're not in the mood? Well, you get in the mood! <laughs> but now I'm back in the mood. And I may do two today because I'm so far behind missing yesterday. And, and let me assure you, there's a lot of people upset with the role that we're on, especially now that we don't have the NCAA cloud. That's all gone. That's upset some folks. Of course, CBS named us the best uh, sports university in the country. That's upset some people. I might have to do a video just on how many people are upset about it. But anyway, we're going to focus on recruiting right now. And this is on Rocky Top Insider by Ryan Schumpert. And I believe he's committing at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, or evening that is. And he's a shutdown corner. He's about like between 100 and 120th in the country, so a high four-star. And it's basically between us, LSU, they said Alabama, Florida State. I don't know that they're all that heavy in. They've got him listed as number 107 in the country, six foot one, 185. And, of course, we've already got uh, Caleb Beasley and uh, Marcus Gorey that have committed two strong defensive backs. One's a, a cornerback, and he's a shutdown corner as well. And then last year they talked about Jordan Matthews, a great four-star, Ricky Gibson with a 4-4-40. And then even though uh, Christian Conyers a three-star, he's a very high-end three-star and was the number one athlete in the state of Kentucky. And it says, if we pick up Kai Bates, we'll move from number 10 in the country to number seven. We've been jockeying back and forth. When we take a look at the team rankings, still Georgia one, Ohio State two, LSU's hanging in third. Michigan, I'm not concerned about Michigan. They're going to fall down. Uh, also, Penn State's going to fall down because of their average. Also, Notre Dame will surpass, I believe, all three of those. Maybe not uh, Clemson or USC, but uh, we're sitting at a good average. If we were to pick up uh, – Kai Bates and the other young man we're going to talk about today, we would go up big time. We could possibly wind up in the top five. So we're sitting in a pretty good spot right now. Like I say, just pick up this one four-star and we're going to jump a bunch. Now, we haven't taken a look at his highlights on this channel yet. I want to take a little look-see and see uh, how he covers these uh, wide receivers. And he started out as a wide receiver, and that happens a lot of times with these secondary guys, and they wind up uh, being a better defender. So let's check this out. See him up in the top there. And, oh, yeah, that's – see, he definitely can go up high. Oh, he got the interception, too. That's huge. Now, let's see. I'm sure he's on their best wide receiver. That's typically what they try to do with these top cornerbacks. Another interception. And you can tell he was a wide receiver at one point because he's got great hands, and that's a real bonus. Let's see how he does here. He's got good nose for the ball, definitely. There's another interception. You just, pretty, you just pretty much don't need to throw it in his area. That might be the smart thing to do. Here we go. That's not going to work out well. He's a big guy, too, especially in high school. 6'1", 6'2", cornerback. That's some good height. That's about perfect, really, because there's a lot of these 6'3", 6'4", guys you're going to have to deal with. There he is, smacking it away. Let's watch one more uh, play here. Oh, there you go. Long arms. So you can see why he's so highly touted and why there's plenty of teams that would love to have him, <laughs> Tennessee Vols being one of them. Now, I will tell you, one of the things that I feel good about with Kai Bates, he wants early playing time. And he knows at Tennessee he's going to have the best chance for that because we're not as deep at cornerback as LSU or Alabama. We're just not. And he's got a much better uh, chance of getting on the field early, and that's a very important thing to him. 
So I think we have a slight edge. LSU believes they have the edge. And then Alabama's kind of in third place, but you never know about Alabama. You know, Nick Saban can pull a uh, rabbit out of his hat every once in a while. So we'll see how this plays out. Again, it's 6.30 tomorrow, and we'll know. So uh, now we're going to take a look at a five-star edge rusher that we've been in the lead for for quite a while. And that's Camarian Big Cam Franklin, big five-star edge rusher. He says, commitment day coming soon. So we're going to know probably, I would think, in the next week or two based on that uh, tweet. And by the way, it's called an X now. It's not called a tweet anymore. I'm X. <laughs> I don't know why uh, Elon calls it X, but anyway, that's the new name for Twitter for some reason. And on threes had us in the lead for him for quite a while at like 73%. That may not be an accurate number, but uh, I think we're definitely in the lead for him. And this guy had a great year last year. He had 22 tackles for loss and a school record 17 sacks. So this guy is a big-time edge rusher. He, he could probably uh, get on the field as a freshman. He's also a basketball player, so you know he's very athletic even for his size. Let's take a look at some of his highlights. I don't believe I've shown you any of his highlights. All right, let's see where he is on this field. They usually circle it. Of course, he may be strong enough it won't matter. Yeah, he's great against the run, obviously. There's another TFL. <laughs> Slams him down. See what he does here. There's going to be a sack for sure. Let's see here. Just look for the guy that hits the quarterback. It'll probably be him. Now you'll watch him here. He's on the edge. Oh, man. That could have been a total disaster. That could have been a... Uh, Take it back to the end zone type situation. Nope, nope. Yep, he's he's obviously the best player on the field. Let's see what he does here. Rips that guy down and then kaboom. Yeah, you can see why he's a five star. See what he does here. Oh no. They're not going anywhere. That's a good defense period. They they've got some real dogs on this side, you can tell. Let's see what he does here. Now you, why would you run on that side with him right there? That makes no sense. You need to go away from where he is. That or throw over top of him, and you and that little guy there. Mm -mm. You're not. I don't know that he could throw over top of him. So anyway, you know these highlights with high school. It's it's really hard to tell sometimes, but um, you can tell he's uh, head and shoulders above the other guys out on that field. So we're going to find out probably in the next week or two on that. Plus, like I said, we got Amari Jefferson that's going to announce um, August the 5th, and that would be a real good get for us. Bama's slightly in the lead, but there's going to be a couple of visits on that. So we'll see how this plays out. Things could change dramatically. We've already moved up the ranks quite a bit as far as uh, quality uh, commits. If we could pick up Kai Bates tomorrow, and that would be a really nice get for us, then we'd have two – linchpin corners in this class and last class so i think our defensive backfield problems are going to start going away this year and probably by next year they should be we should be much much better so this is a team that everybody's excited about and uh, like i said i may do another show later today to kind of show you how upset look we're upsetting a lot of people we're upsetting a lot of teams a lot of crowd bases they can tell our enthusiasm's for real they see the uh the improvement with our team and getting that cloud off of us, the recruiting's improving, and there are teams that should not be scared of us based on history that are. It's just a fact. <laughs> and uh, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's be able to continue to cover the Vols, recruiting, SEC, and all our opponents. If you've not subscribed, it's right here on your right and my left. Just hit that little button. I would appreciate it. And right over here is the most recent video. Be sure to check that one out. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.